Alrighty, yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94 here, back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to react to Prim's Hood Cinema, what happened in Training Day. If you didn't watch Training Day, probably, probably, if not, one of Denzel's best uh, bodies of work as far as acting is concerned. Uh, I say that's in the running with American Gangster. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. What's Denzel's best movie? Is it this? Is it American Gangster? Is it any other Equalizer movies? What, what What's your favorite Denzel movie? For me personally, it's between this one and American Gangster. He was terrific in both of them. He's terrific in everything he does, really. But like, if we had to give it like where there's a good story and his acting is just killing the role, it, it had to be this one, American Gangster, for me. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. But anyways, let's get into this, though. This nigga Prim with the goddamn. This nigga Prim with the goddamn uh the uh the, the San Andreas romance news. He's home with his wife and his little baby. He a family man and he a rookie cop. He loved his family. He loved justice. Police hood movie. He tried to get promoted to the narcotics division. Today is like his training day. It's only like a tryout though. He doesn't technically have the job yet, but he's still real excited about it though. I feel like it's the first day of football tryouts and I wish it was tomorrow already so I know when I made a squad. Denzel Washington is the guy that's supposed to train Ethan Hawke today. He got like a narcotics squad that they all hang out. Ethan Hawke want to join them. Dr. Dre is in it. Dorian from The Mask is in it. Some other people. It's not really important right now. On your way to roll call? Uh, yeah, I'm on my way out the door right now. Patrol ferries go to roll call. We don't go to roll call. I'm gonna be in the office all day, but who knows? Maybe we'll do some business. We're an aggressive unit. I know, sir. That's why I signed up. And, you know, I just want to say thank you for giving me this. Eat the hawk and Denzel Washington. Show ass up and show up, nigga. Get breakfast at this cafe. Quality cafe. That's the name of it. That shit sounds unappealing and fake. Denzel Washington trying to chill and read his newspaper and Ethan Hawke keep being annoying. He keeps trying to small talk and won't shut the fuck up sometimes. It's 2001 though, so he don't got a phone and shit. He just gotta sit there and be quiet like a fucking caveman. Why don't y'all invent phones already, bro? They did invent phones. Go to the office, my dog. Oh, thank you, sir. But, uh, hey, all right, fine, don't. It's nice here. I'm trying to read my paper, please, shut up. You know what, I'll get some eat. Oh, hell no, you won't. You fuck that up. This is a newspaper, right? It's 90% bullshit. But it's entertaining. You won't let me read it. So you entertain me with your bullshit. Tell me a story right now. Go. <laughs> What is this fucking tight ass kufi on his mask? Oh, yeah. Is he supposed to be Muslim or something? This nigga wearing a police kufi? I don't think we ever see him doing any Muslim shit in the movie. I could be wrong though. Let's watch. Let's keep an eye out. So where's the office back in division? You're in the office, baby. Hey, <laughs> around now in the car. Denzel Washington is doing that fast talking, Denzel talking thing. I supervise five offices. That's five different personalities, five sets of problems. I got 38 cases pending trial, 63 in active investigation, another 250 on the law. He tells Ethan Hawk that he got to learn about the streets now. He's giving him advice and it's a nice moment and they having a good time together. Mm. I will do anything you want me to do. You got a kid, right? That's right, little girl. I got four boys. You the son, you let me know. I hope you old lady up, you know. I can't miss. <laughs> that was kind of hella disrespectful. He basically said he's gonna fuck your wife. Come on, Ethan Hawk. Why don't you stand up for yourself, motherfucking scarecrow face? This nigga got scarecrow face. They camp out down the street from one of Denzel Washington's snitches' houses. They waiting to see a transaction. Niggas be snitching out here. It's not cool. Watch out, everybody. He's, a, he's an important teammate, you know. I got eyes everywhere. He gets to peddle a little reefer, make a little cash for the family. He gives me a heads up when big things are happening. That's right. Stay off of the rover. Give me that pipe. Give me them cigarettes, too. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Hey! I see you down here again. I'm gonna make you walk home. I'm gonna let the homeboys up the hill run a train on your girlfriend. You know what a train 
Ethan Hawke feeling kind of uneasy right now. He don't like the way Denzel Washington handled the people or whatever. He don't like being mean. He want to be nice to people and make people feel better. Like an actual public servant. He a good guy. I like him. He a good white cop. You wildin', bruh. You wildin'. A good narcotics agent must know and love narcotics. narcotics. <laughs> what, are you gonna smoke that? Nope. Nope. You are. You are. Hey, man, listen, I'm a king with cops to stop people. Blah, 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 blah. Stop the man on me, bitch. You turn shit down on the street, and the chief brings your wife a crisply folded flag. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I smoke it, man. Here's me. Already, this is a huge red flag. He should have told Denzel Washington to hit that shit first or something. That's what I would do in this situation. I want to see you do the drugs too, motherfucker. That's the proper etiquette. But I'm sure he could just Denzel talk his way out of that shit though, easy. So never mind. Yeah, Pretty much. Secrets. Everybody got secrets. You know you like to get wet though. Turn. Dust. Easy B. That's what you were smoking. You didn't taste it. He smokes the weed, but it turns out it was actually PCP. Holy shit. He hit the fuck out of this shit, too. He literally about to die, bro. Was this a prank, Denzel Washington? This is not a good prank, bro. Come on, bro. You gotta know narcotics, bro. Then they go over to visit one of Denzel Washington's friends. Can't be a narcotics officer and not know how narcotics work. Jesus, Lord. So he's high as a motherfucker. Heard you had a beef in Vegas. It's all good. The Russians want your head. You know, I got your back. I know that. Fake Billy Bob Thornton is like a huge kingpin drug dealer. He tells Ethan Hawke a joke, and he says if he can figure the joke out, he can figure the streets out. I already figured him out. Yeah, it's all about smiles and cries. You gotta control your smiles and cries. Because that's all you have. And nobody can take that away from you. What you think, dog? Hmm? Think this green horn can handle undercover? Hey, Loki, this is a cool ass job, bro. They have not done shit yet. They've been drinking and smoking PCP all day. That sounds amazing. They drive it along, and there's somebody getting their ass beat in the alley, and Ethan Hawk go to rescue him. Then the Washington don't help at all, of course. He don't like helping people. He's a pretty garbage police officer. No, he watching him. He trying to see what he about. He trying to see if this kid really got to take. This is his training day. Grab your bag. And go home right now. Oh, I need to go home right now. These guys should be off the streets. You hear that, homie? I'm gonna go home, you wanna go to jail, huh? Hey, oh shit, nah. Huh? Huh? What are you fast now? I'll leave you one nap with money now. Make a decision. Make a decision. Alright. They beat up all the crackheads and then they go to get fucked up some more. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna be Denzel Washington does some more fast Denzel talking. He convinces Ethan Hawke to not be mad at him. He says they're doing a good job and it's all just part of the job. Smoking PCP and beating up crackheads is just a job. That's great. Whatever. Go do some fucking work now, police officer. They legit have not done any police officing. They are narcotics officers. They don't... This, what are you talking about? Do you know how narcotics officers work? <laughs> That was They've been doing their job, bro. You did what you had to do. That's nice right. These are his best friends now. They finally go to do some police work for once in their life. They doing like a undercover, trying to buy something. Okay, here's the clip. Need uh, crack. Uh, Twenty bucks for crack. Yeah. You smell like bacon in this motherfucker. Fuck you, rookie. <laughs> Hey, Snoop Dogg played his role in this. This nigga said, uh, crack, about 20 bucks worth. Man, if you don't go somewhere... On oh, the real, you don't say the fucking price, bro. That's, bro, what what type of rookie is you, bro? You a fucking... You don't ask the price, bro. You just be like, yeah, man, let me get some... Like, yeah, let me get some crack, man. Let me get, let me get one. Let me get one. Let me get it. Shit at home, Green Goblin Face. You knew you were doing the narcotics shit for a while. You should have practiced. I would have failed you right here, honestly. For real, you don't say the price, nigga. 
They tell you the price. They don't know you. All drug dealer prices are different, bro. You got to know this. Now, I'm not saying this from experience, but I'm, I'm from the hood. I, I know how this shit works. Your partner already in search. We have a strike. Okay. Now, what is that? Motherfucking crack, man. That's right. Give me a name. You want to go to jail or you want to go home? This nigga named Sam, man. That's all the fuck I know, man. Shit. They go to Sandman's house and he actually not there though. He at the honor ranch. They bust in the house and Macy Gray is here for some reason. They got this fake warrant they waving around and they raid the place and shit. They was using her a lot in the early 2000s. That's the whole reason they were there. He pretty evil. Also, who the fuck is an honor ranch, bro? I googled it and I still don't even know what the fuck it is. This shit like a uh, prison slash oil field or something? Illicit activities? What the fuck you talking about? You know what you talking about, bitty boo? I want to see the warrant. You, you supposed to give me it. Yeah, well, my partner has it. He'll be out within a sec. What the fuck's your backup? The fuck you talking about? You punk ass, bitch ass, crooked ass cop. You a rookie. Give me a break. I want to see that goddamn woman. Here you go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they go over Denzel Washington house and they meet a sexy ass Hispanic bitch, Eva Longoria. Yeah. Eva somebody, Eva Mendez. God damn. Denzel Washington creepy ass little son is here also. How you doing? Watch whatever you want, okay? Yeah. They fake sleeping on the couch now, and they had a fun time. These niggas are definitely supposed to be working. I never noticed that till now, bro. What? This nigga was watching cartoons till they fell asleep. These niggas used to. I never noticed that till now. This nigga was fake sleeping, bro. But we was all doing that as kids, though. They all dirty we ain't know no and better. crooked and be committing crimes and shit. And it's like that on purpose. They look like mafia guys on purpose. Because it's like, they're making a comparison. They're not that different. they all the same, except they got badges. You get it. You had an expensive weekend in Vegas. It's an easy fix. Oh, it's cash in an account. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who's driving? Ah, me. Okay. All the money that Ethan Hawke was collecting and stealing from Macy Gray was actually all for these guys. Apparently last week in Vegas, Denzel Washington killed some Russian dude in a fight. The dude was actually in some Russian gang mafia thing, and now Denzel Washington got a price on his head. So how much cash was in that check? 40 G's. What's, what's that for? It's nothing free in this world, Jay. Not even arrest one. He buys a warrant somehow. That's pretty scary to think about. I guess they about to go raid somebody now. The rest of the team shows up and Dr. Dre is fucking terrible at acting. Man, why the fuck is he in on this? Mm. Gotta get a cherry pop sometime. Look, man, stay the fuck out of my way, all right? It's just for the big dogs. Freeze up! Down on the floor, get down, motherfucker! Had lunch with the wise men today. They said you gotta render under Caesar. Right here. Oh. The warrant was actually for Billy Bob Thornton. Remember this nigga? He was a drug dealer, remember? They didn't really want to arrest him though. They basically just want to rob him so Denzel Washington can pay off the Russians. Yeah, you know, you got a lot going on today, man. You couldn't have rescheduled this fucking training day. You literally about to die, bro. Fact, that is kind of true though. He could have he could have rescheduled it, or they could have hand him up with somebody else. <laughs> Hold up! Look at this fucking fake ass money, y'all. Who the fuck is this? I've never seen this nigga before in my life. That's not the right guy. This nigga like Hulk Hogan. That's a quarter million dollars you're holding right there in your hand. The only checks I cashed in the uh, LAPD, huh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you don't want a piece of this, huh? Hey, come sit down. What's up? Kill someone on duty. They have to be a slave in the afterlife. <laughs> Start an entourage. <laughs> Hit him. Are you serious? 
Hey, close the blinds. Shoot him. No, man. Yeah, you want to get shit done, you got to get it done yourself. Holy shit! Wee, there you go. Damn, bro. You know, you could have probably just asked this motherfucker for the money. He probably would have helped you. He seemed pretty concerned earlier. You know, I got your back. I know that. Yeah. Ethan Hawk can't take it no more. There's too much fuck shit going on for him, and he's definitely gonna snitch on these niggas at the first chance he gets. Of course, this is a lot to spring on a new guy, Denzel Washington. What were we even thinking? He yeah. tried throwing some more Denzel talking to win Ethan Hawk over again, but it's not very effective. They go to this scary ass house party in the Mexican hood. All the famous Hollywood Mexican thugs are here. There's Hector, y'all know Hector. There's Tuco, Tuco here, and he crazy. He always the crazy one. Then there's one yo, he and stuff all the time too. Yeah, he, is, he was in all the 90s you know, movies. You know him though, he's here. This is legit everybody. Only person that's missing is Danny Trejo. Yep. <laughs> and, 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 the, and, the, and the niggas that played the Joker Brothers in Next Friday. That's all that was missing. I'm going to the head, okay? In two seconds, we roll. How long you been a pig? <laughs> what you got, guy? Three of a kind, two of a kind. Duper! Duper! played you for a fool, Lester. Big time, Holmes. That Holmes, all? He's into the Russians for a minute. How do you know that? <clears throat> hey, pig. You ever had your shit pushed in? <laughs> had my shit pushed in. Oh, yeah. Whoa. My shit. Washed in, bro, big time. Pause, <laughs> man. Show ass now. Oh my god. First, and they find the ID from the girl he saved earlier. Hey, Smiley, you gonna trip out? Is that your little cousin or what? Eh? Jumped, man. This cop came. I don't think he came out of nowhere and they almost killed him though, but he kicked their asses. Let's forget him because he's back You know the shit was just business, right? He got saved by the Mexicans. Is he at home? Is he in the bedroom? Is he in the bedroom? Alright, alright. You wanna open up the door? I'll tell you what I want. I want you to find a good hiding spot. Do you have a favorite one? Favorite place to hide? Good, good. Can you, can you sit down there? Bro, this is a compliant ass kid. He's doing whatever this random man tells him to. That's not good. You might as well give this motherfucker a gun and ask him to help you fight his dad. He probably do that shit. We was told to never let strangers in the house. With that money in that bag, take your weapons and place them inside that pillowcase right there. Congratulations, son. You passed the test. You are not. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> he tried it. There was no way that shit was going to work, but that was a great ass try. You can fuck your appointment with the Russians. You're not going to make it. Mm. Okay. Where's your evidence, huh? It's right there. Mm. I see you. Oh, man. 
Stupid ass. <laughs> Where the fuck did he come from, though? This shot right here, you can see there's really nowhere to hide. Ethan Hawke is climbing up and he's not here. Then he turns around for a millisecond and the nigga just posted like he's been there the whole time. This nigga really got powers, bro. Uh, God damn. Nigga jumped off the top rope. You want to go to jail, you want to go home. Jay, go ahead and bounce on me. Get up out of here. We got your back. Come back here! Jay! Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is all you bitches. Huh? You, you motherfuckers will play in basketball and Pelican play when I win this with you. Shoot this program, program, nigga. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yeah, bro. You really should have rescheduled this training day, man. Facts. You really overextended yourself today. The Russians end up killing the shit out of Denzel Washington. Now it's the end of the movie. Ethan Hawke wins and justice prevails. Also, who else saw this scene as a kid and got scarred for life? Is it just me? Because this shit is a nightmare. It's a good thing these streets were completely empty, too. The streets of Los Angeles. I'm sure the streets are always empty there though, so okay. This is a good ass movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's entertaining and suspenseful pretty much the whole way through. The whole movie is about your smiles and cries. Smiles and cries are like your morals. It's important to keep your morals intact. You gotta always keep your same energy. Like if you hate a crime when criminals are doing it, then you should hate that crime when the cops are doing it. Because they definitely be doing it. Like, Facts. whatever makes you smile, makes you smile. And whatever makes you frown, makes you frown. No matter who's doing it, right? That's what they were doing. I got the joke. I do wish there was a little more nuance to the story, though. Denzel Washington was a little too over the top and evil sometimes. Maybe they could have dialed it back just a little. I feel like the police corruption message would have hit harder if you made him less evil, if that makes sense. None of this, no, no. None of this wokey woke shit in today's era is not needed for this fucking movie. We don't need none of that wokey woke shit, bro. Stop trying. Y'all, y'all new niggas need to stop trying to put this wokey woke shit into these fucking movies, bro. It's ruining them. Trying to send a fucking message, bro. Movies are to help us escape. We're not trying to deal with the pressures of this shit no more. We get it. Let us just watch the movie and be entertained. I don't need to be reminded of my real life circumstances. Keep that wokey woke shit somewhere else, bro. That's why. That's why I will never watch Black Panther two, because I know it's just a bunch of wokey woke shit. Even though the first one was wokey woke shit, but it was good. It was still a good story. The story was still good to override the wokey woke shit. But I know in the second one, it's just pure wokey woke shit, and it's and it's based and and they make the women overpowered. So I already know. That's why I would never watch it, bro. So yeah, keep that wokey woke shit up out of here, bro. Fuck that shit. No job. We rarely see him as the bad guy. He did great. It was scary. This nigga like Officer Tenpenny. I like how he kept constantly smooth talking Ethan Hawke and almost making his crime seem justified. Perfect Denzel role, by the way. This nigga so charming. He could win anybody over. Ethan Hawke did amazing as well. His character started the day with his super wide eyes and his optimism. But with each crazy event, you can see him slowly losing respect for Denzel. And you can see him really figuring out his morals and shit. And it's all in one day too. That's a good ass movie. Fun facts. The script for this movie was written in 1995 and was supposed to be Matt Damon and Samuel L. Jackson. That would have been hilarious. Some other people they considered for Ethan Hawke's part was Tobey Maguire, Paul Walker, and goddamn Eminem. Can you imagine Eminem doing this shit? It's the camp in the bath tub. I don't know. I can't do impressions. Also, fun fact, they actually made a TV reboot of this in 2017. How the fuck do you even do that? Who in Hollywood is coming up with these ideas? They've been getting paid so much to come up with these garbage ideas. This shit got canceled, obviously. There's none of the same characters even. I can't believe how bad of an idea that was. That's it, though. 
Thanks for watching me. Make sure you subscribe and share this with your friends. Got the cash app. Got the Patreon. Hey, go go support Prim, man. Go support Prim. Anyways, we're just gonna about do it for this one. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out.